time to not record for over an hour again. Uh, that was like 40 minutes off schedule. Jesus Christ. Excuse me. Uh, that was very unchristian of me to say that. Hello? I heard you, but I do not see you. I hear you. I'm hitting you. Oh, yeah, that's good. I think this way. Yeah, a bit of ammo. Possibly some health. Possibly some health. There we go. Thank you. Called it. Ah, it's just the, um... That place where you can get a little bit of crossbow ammo. I will admit that the crossbow in Half-Life 2 is a lot better because it, like, it pins your enemies to a freaking wall. Like, dude, that is hardcore. Understand why I'm quick saving. I hope you understand why I'm quick saving. Ah, <gasps> oh, this baby high to me and I'm just shooting her. Ah! Oh god, I forgot about that. I forgot that it goes up and down and crushes you, despite that being literally the only thing that it does. Ah, oh, heck. Heck you. Heck you, the, uh, the university for very mildly profane people. Hi! Oh, there we go. This game is so much fun. I love this game. A lot of old school games are fun. And also they run super buttery smooth. This game, top tier games. Best action game ever made, in fact. Third, I, I'm actually, I actually keep like a constant list of whatever my favorite games of all time are at every moment. Um, ah! Top 20 favorite games of all time, that is. And this is currently in position. Uh, it's on my website, but it's unlisted, so you're not going to be able to see it. Gordon Freeman, it is you, isn't it? The science team has been tracking your progress with the Black Mesa security system. Unfortunately, so is the military. That suit of yours is full of tracking devices. Still, it's better than going naked in this place. It's cold in there, and you'll have to hurry. It could sap your suit power in a matter of moments. If you're bent on reaching the Lambda complex, then you'll want to keep to the older industrial areas where the security system is full of holes. Jesus Christ. Why don't you shut up, man? He was probably really, he was probably really smart and like, really s no, I can't do that. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make I can Wait, I can just open it up on myself. Excuse me? You think you're the brains in this situation? You think you're the brains of this operation? Ha! That's rich. I'm the smartest man in the universe. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Heck, you could also be the university for puppers. Uh, oh, I thought that was gonna wrap. This is a pretty iconic bit of combat here. Breakable cover! And teleporting in boys. Sorry about that, I need a jump cut. Uh, I was interrupted. Alright, so let us go on and on up here. Oh god, I killed him. Oh no, I didn't kill him. Somebody else killed him. Ah, this is the cool bit. Oh, I love this bit. Just didn't flip up. So 
self-defense. Don't worry about it. Self-defense, man. Oh. Why is it supposed to flip up? I have a face, you know? Also, this game uses skeletal animation, and they wanted to have jiggle physics. Which means that these ladies have boob bones. And you can't really see it. That sounds real- that's really creepy of me. Dang it. I've been watching a lot of Marfitus Blackness. Made a whole video on just this enemy because they're an insanely interesting enemy despite only being seven of them in the game. Dang it! That's a really fun to fight. Um. All of the enemies are insanely interesting because this is just an insanely interesting game. That's not the animation. Hi! Ugh. Gosh! They're also- they also have like the AI of stealth game enemies. Which is really cool. Eh. Ah. I don't know how they can withstand so many bullets. They only have like, super thin clothing. throw grenades at you. Alright, well, I guess I'm not... Look! These enemies are cool, and, like, they have eyes, and I want to show you that animation, because it's cool, and they have, like, eyes, and, like, the visors flip up. You can see, like, you kind of feel bad for killing them. You know, you see the behind the mask, they're, like, real human people. Oh, that was just dumb. Also, the, on the only enemies that will investigate sounds. Ah, right, well. That's a shame. Let's go uh, look at the Marflamous Blackness video. Link in the description, maybe? Ooh, I don't know. Um. Is that even how you pronounce his name? I don't know. Yeah, they're a super interesting enemy, and also really fun to fight. And like, a lot of history to them. I wanted accurate jiggle physics. So they gave him boob bones, which I think is kind of funny. That's something. With this access. Let's go. Hey! This is the insanely comical part. I see it. Yeah, this is the part where. Oh man. Where are we taking this Freeman guy? Upside for questioning. What the hell for? We got him. Let's kill him now. Uh, and if they find the body. Body? <laughs> it's it's great. It's just like it's like a Pixar bad guy, except you know, sociopaths and m more of a sociopath. Oh shoot! Is this the? <gasps> okay. Huh? Does it crash? I don't think this is supposed to happen. Hello? Get him. 
Okay. Nice hit. Give me the skeletal animation, and that's why. Whatever. Where are we taking this Freeman guy? Uh, I can't. I can't activate my flashlight onto the ceiling. That'd be horribly nightmare. Breaking. I love that bit. One of the only two cutscenes in this game. Yeah, there we go. The two cutscenes in this game. That one, and the one at the very end, with the G-Man and stuff. Although, spoilers! Um... You know, this game's like... Yeah, trivia! Trivia time! These are actually trains. And they act like them. So you can control them, like trains! Uh-huh. Look at that. I got you like sheep. I can throw you like trains. Can you make them off center? No. Oh, hey, my crowbar. That didn't come from our Phytomus Maximus video, that came from a desync video. That fact that I learned right there. There you go, I'm crediting it all up and over the place! The place. Oh boy, is this that? No, it isn't. Woo! Residue processing is the name of this chapter. Isn't that what the American, the, the American judicial system is based upon? So proud of that joke. The joke is that the American judicial system is based upon due process in a court of law. Low control, we can't hold. This is the executive elevator. Fill up. Oh, look at that texture it's glitching. Ah! Oh. Ah, crap. Wait, no, that's the wrong time. Yeah, that's apprehension, not the one I want. Ah, whatever, whatever, we can replay this bit. There's a- oh! Get on down here. Get on down here. Let's do processing. Isn't that the thing that the American judicial system is based upon? Saying that joke again. Ha! Constitution jokes. Do process, checks and balances. Common sense. Caution, do not close outlet without closing intake. Come on, stop, 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 yeah, yeah, let's go! Ew. I was gonna say something. I felt like I was gonna say something that I forgot. Bleh! Oh well. Yeah, oh, that's what I was gonna ask. Myself. How much frame rate we get in here? I'm going to censor that name. That's from last time. I'm going to censor that names. And say... Yo. Boy. In-game FPS counter top left. 100 FPS. 
Now 94. Fun. Yeah, no. Uh, let's just say it's really good FPS levels, dude. Also, not only is it a really good FPS, or not only are we getting really good FPS, it's also a really good FPS. Ha ha ha! Bye 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 bye. Bye. You only need three of those, don't you? I'm playing an awful lot of Quake as well recently, that's fun. Quake, great game. Everyone likes Quake. It's like Doom, except better, because it's in 3D. And has that cool art style. And also takes itself way too seriously. And also... It doesn't have really, really horrible, terrible, terrible, terrible level design. Like, uh... Doom has, so that's good. Over here, ooh, boy, okay, hey, we're getting a little feisty there, eh? So. Yeah. Didn't probably drop down without repercussions. Without any un- uh, should I say, without any unforeseen consequences. <laughs> that's my imitation of that character that Northern Lion does. You're welcome. Yes! Yes! Woo! That could have been terrible. Except for that it wasn't. Except for that it wasn't. Good job, Brain. No! Now I'm becoming Nerd Cubed! Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is some good platforming here. I know, a lot of people like lambast. Is that even the right word? Lambast? Now, that's when, uh... That's when you've done a really poor job, but it's so poor that you don't even want to admit a human did it. It's lambast. So that, like, you know, a baby sheep did it. So bad that it seems like a baby sheep did it. Yeah, that's sort of like... Whatever, you get the pun. Um... They panned it, not pan. Panned implies that this game was not a critical freaking masterpiece of a success. That, w that would be a really bad idea to do that. Huh. It gets a lot of flack, is what I'm meaning to say. Whee! For having a lot of unnecessary platforming sections, but I like the platforming section in this game. I know, am I weird that I like the platforming in this game? I like first-person platforming. Huh. Oh. Beatboxing for a second there. One of the problems with, uh, Source Engine games that occasionally when it's loading a lot of stuff, it beatboxes. That's the worst thing that'll happen. Ah! Dang it, no! Ah, I wanted to recreate that bit from Finding Nemo. Youch, flames. It's just a spinning jib. That's what that is. It's a spinning jib. Spinning jibs would be a great name for a band, dude. So you can see this game uses the uh, T3C method of T3C. Jesus, remember that? T3C and la later TPC. TPC. Oh boy, you're a boy. And later TPC, as it later became to be known as, um, was oh a parkour map for Minecraft, and it was really good. Um, hey, on the topic of a uh, first-person platforming. I played it, I played that a lot, an awful lot, back when I played a lot of Minecraft. 
you know, you're you're 11 or 12. You play a lot of Minecraft, right? Ah! Ah! Texture seam! No! Uh, I've been recording for exactly 20 minutes, so let's end this on a cliffhanger. Whoa! I wonder what's on the other side of those conveyor belts. Whoa!